Oh, oh, he, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, look, yeah. look, look. That's gotta be got him. him. Yeah. <laughs> so you clutched up. <laughs> oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, game break. Oh my God. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, he's in shit. <laughs> the dogs are coming. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I got on video, dude. Oh my god. All right, guys. So this morning, we're exploring some abandoned buildings, looking for rattlesnakes, king snakes, particularly prairie king snakes. That's the hope. And uh, we're going to see what we can turn up. We're just looking for cover to flip over. So let's see what we can do. That looked really good. I don't know what to say. Oh, cane break. Oh my God. Look at that. Hey, Tommy, we got a nice cane. I was actually Hold on, thinking, stay right there. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> cane cane. break. Really? All right, I had to go get my big camera from the car so that I could get some footage of this cane break. But good way to start the day. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Look at this big pancake. Good looking timber rattlesnake. We've seen so many of these on this trip, it's ridiculous. This one's actually got really nice chevrons though, yeah. compared to some others we've seen. Let's look at that. And he's got an overall yellowy hue, but also some pinks in there on the side. Like that's a really good game break actually. Look at that. And you can see he's a fairly sizable adult. Nothing absolutely gargantuan, but he's a good sized snake. There he is. Loud him away. Super sweet. All right, buddy, we gotta keep going through your stack here. We'll put you right back after, but he's between the layers, so you're gonna be babysat by Tommy over here. And gently scoop you. It's a good sized timber. I'm gonna put you over here just for safety. There you go. Pull him back up. He's a good one, dude. All right, keep an eye on him, Tommy. I got you. <laughs> Might be able to pick up the fence. Oh gosh. Oh, big skink. All right, nice little roadside stop. I'm gonna put this cane brake back in her little pile, but that's dope. Okay. Well, thanks for <laughs> thanks for playing. Let's see. Oh, I thought that was a snake. Alex, the dogs are coming. All the fire ants. <laughs> I can see the fire ants from here. <laughs> oh. No, he doesn't need water, I don't think. Seems like a nice dog. He's just liking a little scratch. You're a nice guy. Do you want to come with us? Come on in. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. No, you can't come in. All right, so it's midday. We're just doing a little hiking through habitat now that it's warm. Here's a gorgeous little sandy creek running through habitat. It's really, really nice looking. Do it. <laughs> it looks so far. 
Come on, you can do it. That's not bad. <laughs> that's that's could have been a worse casualty. Alex just spotted a little cotton mouth. Oh yeah, he is perfectly coiled. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Nice coiled up little cotton mouth. Guess no need to scare him or anything. We're just gonna leave him right where he is and keep hiking around. Just walked up on some wild boars. Got my heart going for a second. Those things are very mean. <laughs> but uh, we're going back this way anyway. Look right here though. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's nice. That's tucked in there too. Finally. Now we got we have a, we've got a cane break on the day, a cotton mouth on the day, and now we have a copperhead. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have a cane break or a cotton mouth on the day personally. All right, so we went ahead and pulled this copperhead out of that carpet pile for a quick look. Somehow we haven't run into any of these this trip so far. But know what we have run into is <laughs> Loopy Toopy. <laughs> That's, I can't know you than anything other than Loopy. No, I added you as my contact as Loopy. Yeah, no. I can't, can't call you Isaiah. <laughs> but anyway, pretty copperhead. We're going to try and see if we can get a couple more. That'd be pretty neat. Oh, All right, let's go back oh, oh. We look at him. Friend, that's, oh, I think he's got it. Yeah, well, you should pull up his page. Yeah, I'll pull it up for you guys. Oh, look at that little racer. Nice. Oh, that's cool. He's got some blue color going on. He looks like he's going to nail me. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, he's going to tweak in a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, got the camera. There's cobwebs on his oh, head. Come on, come on, don't do it to me. I already, like, got obliterated by one of these earlier this week. He get you? <laughs> <laughs> Here, why don't you go? He doesn't know that I'm the th No, don't, no, no. There's something weird at the down here. You're finding oh. so much, like, carpet just out on the ground. Where, like, people love putting carpet... Look at that poison ivy like, your hands on. Here. You allergic? Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, not enough. I don't know. Oh god, dude, you're touching that way more than I would. That's horrible. Dude, his hand is like in the poison ivy. <laughs> That's actually huge. Yeah. Oh, oh. There you go. Is that a garter? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little garter. We've only seen a couple garters this trip. We saw a huge one in the New Orleans area. I actually wouldn't mind getting a little picture of that when you're done with it. Nice. A little bit of blue on it too. That's cool. Yeah. There you go. There's a lot of ribbon snakes over here, not a lot of garters. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at the toad in the hole. Oh, <laughs> RIP. <laughs> look at the slug set. It's fossilized into the carpet. Rest in power. I'm gonna be sneaky up. Right <laughs> I'm in naked and afraid. It looks like. All right, so today comparatively has been a little bit slower of a day, but uh, what is pretty fun is right now we're hanging out with Isaiah. We just found that copperhead with him, as you guys saw, and we're heading to some other spots, hoping for some aquatics tonight. Could get lucky again with a mud snake, so we'll see what happens. All right, so we're just cruising around and this little ribbon snake was just shooting across the road. Uh, we haven't found a ribbon snake yet in this area and it's kind of cool looking. It's like real dark in color and contrasty. A lot less blue than ribbons that we saw in the last video, but still come some kind of greenish and yellow hues. It's kind of cool looking snake. We're gonna help it across the road. All right, buddy. See you on your way. All right, next snake of the night. Is that a banded water snake? No, dude, I think that's a green, Mississippi green. Yeah, I think that's a green water snake. Uh-oh. He went out the other side. All right, see ya, buddy. 
Look at that. So you clutched up. It's huge, <laughs> Holy man. smokes. It's really big. Oh my god, that's way redder than the one we oh, got. Yeah. And it's got a little yellow towards yeah. the head. Oh too. my god, that's gorgeous. That's a really Holy snack. smokes. This thing was stretched like way across Hold on, the but the real highlight though? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Look god. what really matters here. That's yeah, dude, ridiculous. That's a freaking crazy snake. Dude, that is insanity. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. That's a big one too. That makes up for the big one that we found that got hit. You found one that got hit? Yeah, did we tell you the big one? It got ran over because some passed us like a hundred yards before we cruised yeah. it and uh, they just ran it right over the middle. Damn. Oh my God, that's sick. That's so awesome. Those bands come up nice and high too. Yeah. It's uh, you know. It doesn't look that cool. That looks better. All right, one last look at it, I guess. Hoist them up, show the size to the people Check at home. Check this out, people at home. To, yeah, see if that belly. Oh yeah. That's just so like the, dope. Just like the lock screen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to let it go. Probably as soon as I. Oh, it just went down in there. Instantly gone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they don't really uh, stick around too long. All right, check this out. I had a small heart attack when I saw this. It is not a mud snake, but it is a big amphiuma rooting around the bottom, a three-toed amphiuma. We have two-toed that we've seen before on the east coast, um, but this guy is a three-toed amphiuma. I guess for, for reference, there's a, a shoe next to it. So this is a huge amphiuma just rooting around, and that is what makes up the entirety of mud snake's diet, which is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna get this amphiuma. You gotta go hard down in front of its head. Its head is like direct. See that? Oh, oh. It's backing up. Oh, he got out of my hand. Yeah, oh, you ain't gonna grab one of them. Damn, I'm a deep I would've... water here. Imagine being Girl, a Louisiana native and not being able to get it. It's on it. There's more. Alright, let's get this fuma. Oh, oh, he, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, look, yeah. look, look. That's got to be him. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. That's awesome. Right here, we have a really big two-toed amphiuma. Three. Oh my God, he's <laughs> greasy. Look at the, I didn't know that they had back legs. Look at that. Yeah, yeah that's, no, that's I wild. way to tell them apart from sirens. Yeah, I, you yeah, know, I've seen a, sirens a and like, toed. we got a lesser siren the other night, but we didn't yeah, really have. Isaiah? What happened? Three-toed. Not two toed. This is yeah. A you said two toed. Yeah, I, I went, didn't know this. I went was three toed. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Little... That is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna They've got. Oh, there you go. Oh nope. Oh my God. There's no no tr getting traction on this guy. Oh yeah. There you go. Ew. But awesome. That's so cool. Look at all the little sensors it's got for detecting movement and what like electromagnetic fields. I guess. I believe so. For fish. You hear that noise is making? Kind of like croaking. I thought you meant the bird, the owl over there. I was like, I thought you were making a joke. That's crazy. Keeps going back into the net. Yeah. There you go. What a weird creature, dude. He's going right into the muck. There he goes. So That's so <laughs> cool. They're so alien-like. Yeah. See you later, buddy. Amphiuma number two. Well, two in the bag. Look, it's got some scars on him. Maybe some mud snakes. Whoa, scars. whoa, whoa, he busted through <laughs> the net. What'd hey, you say? Hey, Bradley, Bradley. The capture. Do a little video for me, Isaiah. No. Yes. So we're going to let this one go too. Yeah.
He's fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, oh. he's like right at the shore. He was in a tough spot. Sure, we'll see another one. No, not okay, Tommy. <laughs> I wanted that one. Right. Right. Oh, uh, I oh, thought yeah. the edge of that was something. Oh, there's no chance you can see it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I got it on video, dude. Oh my, oh my god. god dude. Oh my god. Holy crap. Dude, look high at five. The, look at the belly. Give me <laughs> dude, look at the freaking <laughs> belly, dude. Wow. Look at that. Oh my you god. See that? Oh my that's god. awesome. Like not connected. That's, that's a western mud if I've ever seen one. Yeah, oh my god. So mud snake number two of the night, courtesy to uh, Loopy Toopy. <laughs> but oh my god. That's crazy. This one's the belly is ridiculous looking. Wow. Oh my god, look at the belly. So the weird thing about the snake too though is that it's got these cataracts or something. Like its eyes are all fluidy and it does not look like it's in shed unless this thing is like like glowing out of shed. But it's very, very colorful and does not appear to be in shed, but its eyes are completely white. Which is pretty interesting. Don't really know what that's all about. Yeah, but we're gonna take a couple pictures of the snake and then send it on its way. No more double fisting. No more double fisting. What if there was another? You flip it again. Why not? Baby. I flipped the log. I'll flip the log again after this. I mean, <laughs> anyway. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Man, couldn't you imagine one getting away from you? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so check it out. We've got. A big amphiuma right here, not as big as some of the ones we've seen. And then just a few feet over, we've got another one, a little bit smaller. That's super, super cool. They're trying to mate. Maybe. God, what does it look like when an amphiuma mates? Do not want to know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you do, huh? Rough green snake hanging out in the branches here. Pretty cool, nice spot by Alex. Super cool, he's kind of asleep. We're gonna leave him be. Green sound like, eh, eh, eh. That's cool. like that one call, there. call again. Do it. Wait, that's not, those aren't green either. Yeah, that's a green, that's a green. Dude, that's awesome, bro. Rough green I've never snake. I told you, Alex is the rough green snake guy. I spotted right here in these vines, this baby rough green snake. All right, as you saw, Isaiah just pulled this little rough green outside of this pile of vines and debris, which is kind of like what they like to hang out in, especially at night. You'll be able to shine them in that, but we're gonna put it back. You guys good? Oh yeah, my bad. Here you go. <laughs> All right, we're doing it in a second then. <laughs> Marsh decays. Doria decay. Oh, look at that guy. It's <laughs> an important one, huh? Yeah, this is the find of the night. Yeah, I know I don't have those up north, like. Yeah, we found a pink one earlier this trip, though. It's really cool. Like this one has. All right, so that was an absolutely epic night getting out with Isaiah. Super, super fun and incredible that we got to see two mud snakes. Another double mud night on this trip. It's just like this entire trip has been absolutely ridiculous. Like we've been smashing targets, getting super lucky with stuff. It's been great. That's going to be it for this video. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.